Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to use this MDF 3mm thick piece down here. The finished piece will be 16 inches by 14. And all we're going to do is, with it being this time of year, is a nice Christmas tree like that, with the scene of the houses in the middle. And what we'll do, we'll scroll saw all the dark stuff out, and hopefully it should look somewhere near. I stole this template from one of my friends off Facebook. This was actually hanging on their tree. And I believe it's about three inches high is the original template. So I've blown it up to fit. You could go bigger, you could go smaller. Okay, what we need to do is stick this template to our MDF. I prefer painter's tape. And we'll just line all this with that. And then we'll spray on some glue. Adhesive like that. Spray that on. And then stick the template to it. So I'll do that now. And then we'll move on to the next stage. Right, we've stuck that to our MDF. That's all nicely. I actually went a little bit too low. But we've saved the day. We'll just make it round there. Just so be wary of that when you're sticking it down. But not to worry. What we need to do now is, first of all, I'll just cut around this quickly with the scroll saw and dispose of that. We're going to have to uh, drill pilot holes into all these black sections and even these thin lines along here. What we're going to have to do is feed the blade through from the scroll saw. These are what you call pinless blades. There's actually a blade in there. I personally don't like using these a lot because it's a pain on my scroll saw with it being so old fashioned. I have to allen key that to that one, feed that up through the saw, feed it up through the hole in the uh, template in our piece of work, then attach this one on top, then clip that onto the scroll saw. And when you're doing that every time for every one of these little windows and stuff, it is a pain. The easy option I find in mine is what these, these are called pin blades. But as you can see, there's a pin at that end and a pin at that end. And you're going to need a lot bigger hole to be able to feed that through. And obviously, when you're talking little things down the bottom here, these little bits on the roof, it's just not going to fit. So I'm going to have to use this pinless blade. It is a total pain, but we'll stick with it. Okay, so for now, we'll start drilling out all our pilot holes. Right, we put our pilot holes in, as you can see. Everyone like so. Even these little lines down here, they've all got to have a hole in. And that's just enough to put up that little thin blade through. I've done the outside, make it just, that's just easier to remove, moving around, should I say, on the scroll saw, because you only have a limited, I think mine's 14 inch, 16 inch. When you get down here, as you start turning, you're going to start catching that. So, but we'll work around it. Okay, let's get this set up and start cutting this out. Right, you can see we're set up. We put our bracket underneath. We fed our braid blade through. We fastened it on the top. All I'm going to do is cut out a star and just show you bits as we go along. It's the same procedure, so it can get quite boring. And you get basically a rough idea of what we're doing. So let's start cutting this one out.
Right, we've gone all the way around that. These single lines here. They were a pain to do. Because you're setting it up, two seconds, dismantling it. Setting it up, two seconds, dismantling it. And it's uh, just a pain sometimes. What I will do, once we peel the paper off, I use this end for the Dremel. And I'm just going to go round these smaller pieces. Just to widen them slightly. Just so we can see the light a bit better. So we'll peel this paper off first. we've pulled all our paper off that come off fairly easy like I was saying before you can see these two lines here I've literally just gone across with the Dremel just to widen them slightly just so we can see them a bit better if you look at those two there in comparison to these the cut of the blade is just too small so I'll go all the way around these to give the houses a bit more definition Right, we can see from that, I've gone around with my little Dremel piece, just to widen these gaps up here. Just so you can see them a little bit better. And you can tell it's the shape of a house and stuff. Now you could leave it like this. I'll give it a little slight sanding down. You can leave it like this, but I'm going to put some dark stainer on, just to make it a little bit darker. So we'll throw that on now. And we'll see what the finished project looks like, shall we? Okay, that's all finished. That's all dried out. Uh, dark mahogany I put on in the end. But like I say, you could have left it clear. And it's just a fun little project for this time of year, obviously. So there you go. MDF scroll saw work. 13 inch by 15 just a little hang up plaque thingy. Thank you for watching.